Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So for today's vlog I've uh, created a little bit of a uh, different vlog that I do for my normal landscapes and um, I'll leave you in anticipation for that one coming up shortly but um, just wanted to wish everyone a happy Christmas and a happy 2019 as this vlog will be going out just before the festive period and um, just wanted to provide you a little bit of an update about um, my channel as well that uh, unfortunately due to the festive period due to family and work commitments I probably won't be able to get out and about to create a vlog for at least the next sort of three to four weeks. However, hopefully come sort of uh, early uh, 2019, I'll be able to uh, produce and upload um, a number of vlogs that uh, will be going to new locations, which I do really enjoy to discover new locations around Essex where I live, and also some of the uh, other locations that I've been to already and returning to them, to see them in different weather conditions, different times of year as well, creates many different opportunities. So hopefully that will be uh, really looking forward to, to creating that more content as well. But um, if you have recently subscribed, please consider uh, watching some of my back catalog of vlogs as well, as there's uh, many different locations that I've been to, different times of year as well. And uh, hopefully you find that, that quite enjoyable as well. But I uh, just want to say thank you to everyone for watching and supporting me doing these vlogs as well. And uh, hopefully you enjoy today's vlog. So I've got a little bit of an interesting uh, shoot tonight. I've actually got my uh, camera set up in the car and um, taken several images as I'm driving around some of the roads around near where I live and creating some interesting uh, images, I feel. It's getting, obviously, the, the streaks of the lights trails from the cars and the traffic and uh, creating quite an interesting uh, composition. I've got um, a competition coming up within my camera club for uh, transport and uh, th that's the sort of reasoning behind me doing actually this uh, photographic shoot so uh, hopefully uh, turn out to be quite interesting. So this is a setup that I've got with the uh, tripod legs spread out to uh, obviously at the front to give it stability and then the rear one uh, resting on the back seat there as well. We have obviously the central uh, seat belt just to keep it in a little bit more support and stability. And then obviously the camera on top there all leveled up. And the really good thing with this one is it's obviously got the articulating uh, screen on the side of the camera. So I can actually obviously face that forwards and obviously work that out. And uh, also making sure most importantly that I've actually got my cable release in there as well, which is going onto the passenger seat. So I obviously can control when, when I actually release the shutter. So it's really important to actually have the cable release set up for uh, th this shoot tonight because obviously the most important thing is is that about your safety when you're driving and the other uh, users of the road as well. So having the cable release in, what I'm able to do is obviously just click the shutter, leave it open and obviously the camera can just shoot away and take image after image. So the settings that I've actually got on the camera is uh, set up in the shutter priority mode, dialed in about five seconds and obviously it cloud collates its own aperture and I've got it on continuous sh shooting as well so it's going to take image after image after image and as I'm driving along that will obviously then be able to be synced together and I can then pick out which image is actually going to work out best for me. I'm also going to do um, an image 
while I'm static as well. So I can obviously get a little bit more sharpness within me holding onto the steering wheel and um, obviously all the dials, etc. So I can get a little bit more sharpness there. And then obviously using the windscreen area for actually the, uh, the light trails as well and uh, be able to sort of uh, merge two or three images together to obviously work out the best one for it. So hopefully it should be a good shoot. So it's worked out to be quite an interesting uh shoot this evening so hopefully you've enjoyed it as well which is the main thing and um, if you have please make sure you leave it a, a comment below and also give it a thumbs up as well and also uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already and if you have already subscribed make sure you hit on that bell icon as well so thanks a lot for watching and take care <laughs>